Trini. Hello, my darling. We're back to a packing rail. Where are we going this time? This is a long elongated weekend, hand luggage only. So I will be taking my favorite remover suitcase plus a bag that I will use my big bag. Between these two, I need to get in kind of elements of the rail. Okay. Um, so first thing I do when I'm going anywhere for a long weekend or for five days or something is to look at the weather because the weather is really key. So I've done a prep rail, so I'm going to Venice um, and I'm looking at the fact that when I go, it's going to be nine degrees is the coldest and 17 is the hottest. So in the day, it's quite warm and it gets up to 18, but then it goes up, gets up to 14. And then I have to remember Venice has lots of canals and it can seem colder than it is mm. if there's a wind and it's by the sea. So I've got to plan for not getting too hot during the day, but being warm enough at night. That's clever about looking at the night temperature. Night temperature is really key. The first thing to think about is what you're actually doing when you go away. So I know I'll be doing quite a lot of sightseeing. I'll be in the car a bit because I might go down to Padua and I might try and make it to Florence, which is a long drive. So there'll be a bit of car journeys. Um, in the evening, if I go out, I'll be walking there or going on the kind of water taxi or a gondola or the um, water bus, which is lovely and very easy way to get around um, Venice and much cheaper because water taxis are killingly expensive. So I need a coat for night, definitely. The next thing I do is I choose the color palette that will allow me the most interchanging with singular pieces. And in the day, because things can be variable, I quite like a t-shirt with a light coat. So my key coat for day to night is actually this really old Zara coat and I love it because it's got a nice weight. It is surprisingly cream, but it's very nice over dresses and over trousers and over skirts. So the length of the coat is key that it has that versatility and the neutrality of the color that you don't bring a wintry looking coat to a kind of spring holiday. Always a pair of jeans. And my favorite pair of jeans I'm gonna bring are these page jeans, which are summer jeans. Um, and there's also one last minute option because it's so small and can be worn different ways, which is my um, outfit that S. Susanna changed the buttons off because they were big brass buttons I didn't like, and this is from Zimmerman. So I might start with the four or five ways I'm gonna wear this. This is outfit number one, which is it's a warm day and I'm going sightseeing and it's just chilled. I've got a big enough bag that when you're abroad, you need a bit more in a bag than when you're local. I always mm -hmm. feel there's an extra thing you know, or somebody asks you to put something in the bag. So that's easy going around daytime outfit. And if it's a bit colder, I would then maybe take my little coat and put it on top, yes. which kind of works with a floppy trouser. Yeah. Especially if you want to appear quite smart. Exactly. It is an immediately smart look. Hmm. Then if it's kind of like, I want a jacket, but not a jacket, I use the shirt over this as a jacket. Hmm. And I'll just have it like that as a little jacket. Nice. That, Very and then we put the bag got on there. And if it suddenly gets a bit chilly, but I don't want to wear a coat because I want to wear this sort of five different ways, I'll take this scarf, which is nicely neutral and sort of biscuit color. And I will just do my little tuck, have it like that. And then it's sort of, you know, just an easy chill sightseeing look. Quite touristy. Quite touristy <laughs> in a nice way, huh? Lovely, yeah. And takes up so little room in my case, which I adore but then I want to wear it at night time. Night time now is um, done up with my little um, bangles, which I'm going to use to change lots of outfits, and some earrings that I got from a workshop on Walton Street. I still got my trainers on, but you don't really see them, so I don't mind, and also I'm gonna walk around to dinner, and I don't wanna be wearing high heel any part of this trip. And if it's colder in the evening, I will go for my second coat option to add a bit more glam. Instant glam. Like that, so I'm going to Harry's bar for dinner, and I wanna be a bit glam upping the ante. So that shirt's still great as a kind of nice look. This could be a sort of going out for dinner in the evening or it could actually be daytime sightseeing and I've got actually the white top on underneath so if I get hot I could just take it off. Great. This now that wraps around my shoulders. It's like I'm running around and you know I'm a local. I feel sort of. That You're a local. I'm yeah. a local. <laughs> I'm a local. I'd still maybe keep those on but as quite a lot of silver it's daytime I could take them off. Yeah. Whatever but it just it's nice. I could then just take that off and another day I could just be with this jacket. 16 degrees would I wear it? I might because you know me and the um jeans. And you're taking the white trainers? I'm taking the white trainers. I'm taking stack trainer and flat trainer. Okay. In the evening I could do this and I could just dress it up and just have on it 
um, because they don't take up any room and they're fun. Oh, thank you. Lovely. All right, darling. Thank you very much. See you. Um, so this is the next outfit and this is just sort of day tonight um, and I think having necklaces like that you can just then play it up or down and even though it's jeans and a white top it just feels a little bit more something going on. So would you travel with these jewellery on you? I could do. I mean one of these is going to be my travel outfit. I love this outfit. Thank you. It's super mum vibe. Lila likes it when I dress like a mum and do not you? like somebody she says do I have to walk down the street with you mummy? They're a cool wash of jean, aren't they? They're a cool wash of jean. So this little cardigan is a new addition from Eric Bombard and it's quite Italian to me because mm. so many Italian women who are really elegant, they always have this little cardigan, even though the proportions are that I feel long body, short legs, I sort of feel in Italy, okay, let's just do it. Very nice way to be warm. And if I wanted to, I can just then put it on if I want to and just have that like that yes. and just be kind of really chilled. Would you pull the sleeve up so you wouldn't see it? Oh, she's in the... such a professional to wear, isn't she? <laughs> she's such Gives a professional. A shoulder pad. I just do up one button. I mean, that's really just that joy of the yellow and the cleanness of the cream at the top. Yeah, I love that gradient. Yeah. But then the top has a friend. This actually came with a skirt. And this is a skirt. And I love this because it feels summery, but it's warm. So if it's sort of 12 degrees for all that 14 degree day, I might actually want to wear this. And the skirt is wool and cashmere. And I just love the grading. I feel it's very Italy. I'll put that coat on. And I think that just works really nicely together. Great day tonight. Great day tonight. And I'd still, I wouldn't mind that I keep on the trainers. Would I want to wear something more elegant on my feet? We could do these. Mm. I way prefer that. I think they're way better. What do you think? Way better, 100%. Would you not do the backless ones? It's not bad, those. Or the yellow ones would look cool. It's always difficult to make a decision to take something if you haven't got the shoe situation resolved. Mm. Okay, what about these? Yeah, what I like think? those. I mean, they yeah. are Marmite, and I know they're Marmite for lots of you, and you might say, take an elegant pump, but I'm not an elegant pump girl, and I actually like that. Me I think too. I will do that, because mm -hmm. if it gets to 17, 18 degrees, I want this for some other looks I'm going to show you. And the skirt, I can also always wear without the cardigan. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't forget. Yeah, in a, on a warm day with the back. Easy breezy. Easy. Cool. Great, okay, so those are going, those pieces are key, key pieces to this whole event and we found how many different ways to wear them? A lot. A lot. <laughs> this is my really sort of nice evening skirt and I know how I wear it in the evening, so I'm trying to think, could I wear this during the day? But would you wear it in the day? So would. <laughs> I mean, I so would because I just, I would, I would just like do that. It's super casual and absolutely insane on the bottom. Where's it from, Jenny? This is um, Pekka River. Taking it to night time, um, I have got my stalled, which I adore, and which I've shown so many times. That's probably like my smartest evening. And I would actually do this with a trainer. Yeah. I think I would. But I have another alternative shoe. Over the Top Madness, which actually I don't know if it works. Right. No, I don't think it works. I love the shoes, but I don't think it works with the I black. I wear them. Yeah. They were making a couple of outfits. So at the moment, the only way I wear this is if I wear it with flat black boots, which how I used to wear it in the winter, but then mm -hmm. I feel it's got quite wintry. Yeah. yeah. I liked it with the trainer. You did? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so maybe I wear it with the trainer, but I wear it with, they're really dirty, the trainer, mm -hmm. and I did go and buy, buy another one because I felt they were getting really dirty. For a trip, would you want to take brand new trainers that you might have to wear in a little bit? The good thing about these is I never have to wear them in. Another way to do this is to wear a black top, which I usually never wear, with the shoes, topping and toning with darkness, and then the, um, those. What do we think of that? Love the shape. Yeah. Yeah. Like and that. also it's changed totally that you would think, is that the same skirt you wore? Do you know what I mean? I think yeah. it's made a difference to the skirt. And then when I'm going out in the evening, <laughs> I mean, how's that? But also, the shoes are a great addition without being like all about the shoe. They are kind of, aren't they? Yeah. Should I show you the different ways I can wear the shoes because it's all about now the other outfits I've got to style up the shoes. And I don't want jewelry, what do I take? Something that's been in Lila's cupboard for a while, but this is about topping and tailing the silver now. So just like that. So that's evening outfit. Don't even need to wear a coat, feeling really hot already because it's hot in here. <laughs> 
But um, you see the shoes, how well they look? Really fab. Okay, do you want to see another way I can wear the shoes? Can we find and out where the top and jeans are from? The top is Zara, the jeans are Zara, this is YSL. So it's designer, high street in the middle. Oh, another thing I could do with this. Yeah. Just to, instead of having that. I think for a lot of ladies, black can be so chic when they travel. Yeah, that's also, I love the belt with it. And it just changes the outfit totally with the belt. Love that belt. Black trousers, which I just got from Cos, Zara t-shirt, and the shoes. Could be evening. Up in the ante a bit, could be like that. Yeah. Evening outfit, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I could do that with, in the evening, like that. Yeah. So it doesn't feel black black, but it feels quite... It's okay. okay. Thank you. Um, that's good to know. And then, <laughs> the other way I would do it, just, it's a very thin piece here, but... You know, that you kind of can't go wrong with a black tuxedo look mm. when you travel. And I could do it with a white t-shirt, I could do it with this, I could do it also with the snake print blouse. Yes. Um, Where's it from? This is Zara, and this is Zara's studio collection with the really lovely buttons. I wish they did that on all of their jackets. I know. We can always, you know, go and buy lovely new things, but we don't take them on a holiday. Mm. And so for me, a part of the, the celebration of going away a few days with C is to just take some things I love that are a little bit new and mix them with old favourites. Yeah. I can't think of other ways I can wear the black jacket apart from with the black jeans but it wouldn't go with anything else. That's the only thing. I'm going to ask you two which dress. So I either take my old um, um, Tory Burch, which has got the long sleeves, and I wear trainers with underneath, and I can wear it day and night. Or I take my white Zara one, which I probably wear day. I could wear night as well, but I think it's more daytime. I vote Zara. Oh my gosh, same. Yay. Do you really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do you really? Because yeah. I was saying this takes up less room. Should I pack this one? But you just like the Zara. Compared. I just think it feels like a holiday dress that Audrey and Blair's. Okay. All right, so should we try and pack it? Yeah. This is another Tory Burch dress, but I got it off eBay and I felt it's quite high waisted and I don't know if it feels a bit. <laughs> Not I at like all. It. It's nice fun print for holidays. Do you, think it's a, do you think it's a good compromise between the two? Yeah. What do you think? I think it's a halfway point. It's a halfway point. We like a halfway point. Okay. I'll do Jubilee for my makeup. What I tend to do is I tend to take some of our fantastic teapots, which are two colours in one. I could use VB and Honor, which is a strong contender, and I'm definitely going to put that in, because when I do sometimes a smoky eye, I love VB and Honor as a really neutral lip, so that's definitely going in. And when I do my smoky eye, and I'm doing a warm smoky eye, I will use Virtue and Empress. It's a lovely smoky brown with a Virtue, which I can wear during the day. So that's my kind of warm makeup look. Now I want my cooler makeup look option because I'm neutral so I can suit both. So I'm going to do mystery and magician. So I can use mystery during the day, but I can use magician at night. And I want to do that with a sign of a neutral lip. And my neutral lip of the moment is definitely Katie. But I decided to put three options in there. I put Maiko, I put Wheezy, and I put Katie because they work all well together. They're all sheer shimmer. So I put those together because I have these split pots and I had a spare one. I put some Gaia Golden Glow with some Miracle Blur. It's a pot I really want to make. Don't know if you'd like that pot made. And then here I've got De-Stress and Rebalance mixed together because I love that combination. So I mix it in the pot and I've got BFF. So at the moment, this is my stack, which gives me, you know, two neutral looks two warmer looks and two, two cooler looks. So that works well, that's going in. And then I'm going to do lash to brow, and then I'm going to do a hair tie, a clip, a T-top, so that I can actually have a mirror and see what I'm doing. So that's my makeup. So for my toiletries, I've got Dr. Hauschka deodorant, which I always use, Woody Fig, my favorite fragrance. I've got a small size from Samba Gaba. Um, the cleansing balm. Um, Talika eyelash conditioning gel just to kind of condition my lashes. PHA um, tiptoe in exfoliant, retinol, um, overnight sensation. I've got Gui Sha in case I want to wake up my face. I've got Anna lip treat. I've got Fourier as well to give me that sort of massage. I've got a tea towel and I've got earplugs. The case is open. The case is open, the challenge is there. So I'm going to pack my hand luggage friend first. <laughs> my pills like this. On holiday, utilize those sunglasses that you love. 
This is all my cables with cables written on it from Dimeg. And so shoes wise, we are looking at a few pairs, aren't we? So I'm gonna do the unnecessary but fabulous Pradas. <gasps> I haven't done knickers. I haven't done knickers on oh underwear. My oh God. my Lord, I just thank God I remember that. I've got the light sandals. Light is a metaphorical word, which doesn't make sense to me because they're, they're light to wear, but they're cumbersome to pack. So these are really like, Trini, you really, really want to, but I've still got room still got room and I've taken a lot of the cumbersome stuff out of my packing. I could put the bulky scarves, light yet bulky, in there like that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do my cuffs. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a pair of fab earrings for the dress that we put in the last minute. Yes. Um, we're going to do my little silvery earrings, which I really liked. I'm going to do some which are white with silver. Lovely. There. What we'll do is we'll do that like that and then we'll put these little things, put those in there and then I'll put that inside there. I've even got room for other things. Let me put another pair of sunglasses, because why the fuck not? There. Put those in that, in there. It yeah. feels bulky, but it's bearable. Okay, so packing. I always make sure everything is buttoned up, like that. And I fold. Now I'm also packing now in order of what I love the most. This is a weird thing, and what went with things the most. So that actually goes with a lot, and I know. And also my person I'm going with loves me in this. There's that thing if you're going with somebody you've you've known a long time. It's really nice to wear things that they also love you in as long yeah. as, as as well as things you love yourself in because it's sort of it's that you are both going on holiday together. <laughs> then the white t-shirt with padding. We know how much I love that kind of stuff. So that's mm -hmm. the skirt. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have to skirt. Oh, yes. It's the glamour moment. And then the black top from Zara. What I'll do with these is I will use them as those parts of a suitcase where you know that you've got the little things for the wheel. So I will do that and fold it mm -hmm. and always use that, those things that can fold like that. I do that with scarves and all the scarves gone there, so I'll do that moment. Mm -hmm. The white trousers, they're the ones that Estee Zana took up yeah. that I was never wearing. And then I love them in India and I wore them a lot. Maybe so. the cardigan as well with them is pretty. Cardigan be so... Genius. The cardigan's another thing, actually, that I can do that little moment with. This also will be very good on a roll. A little twist. I didn't think I'd see the day you'd roll into the suitcase. I know, I rolled, didn't I? <laughs> I rolled. Then the other pair of jeans. Jacket. I like to do a jacket. Glorious case for that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, okay, so we have some extra options here. Now, one is the the lovely little top, which doesn't take much room, and I think I could do that with the, the black trousers, with the jeans. So with the white trousers. And with the white trousers. There was another option here of an extra little, if I had space, no more, which is looking like I have. This also I can wear with the jeans, just running around the day. Yeah, yeah. I would maybe even wear it with the black trousers. Yeah. I'd wear it with the white trousers, just over the white trousers. Mm -hmm. Jacket as well. I could wear it as a jacket justifying it beyond our You own. can't not take a Serena Beat. I can't not take a Serena Do we want this? Yes, we want that. <laughs> then you shall have it. What Molly wants, Molly gets. <laughs> you didn't think I'd be getting it in, did you? Were I'm, you hesitant? Were you I'm wondering? very impressed. Oh, we've still got a bit of room on the other side. I know, that's the interesting thing, isn't it? Do you think that little vest? This? Yeah, I always wear it just as a bit of difference mm. from yeah. your white vest. I yeah, it's a little bit more elegant, isn't yeah. it? And I can do that with the black or with the white. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like jewellery as well. That it is jewellery, it's beautiful. It's okay. nice to have options on holiday as well. But I've got the option of, you know, something else. So I do like those white trousers with the biscuit stripe. These, these are magnificent. They're really nice. These are linen trousers with a white t-shirt and the yeah. coat. It's so nice. Just sold them yourself. What? <laughs> sold them to yourself. I, I sold them to myself. I mean, I, I, the thing is, they, they crease and everything, but they're just so elegant when I've got them on. So are they Joseph? Them. Yeah, they are. I think if I was going to say I've got an extra option now, would I take that friend? I think let's get the coat and the bags in first. Oh, they're so, so nice. Molly is such a mum. It is heavy. <laughs> it is heavy. Still rum. Okay, should we get underwear in, the vital? 
<laughs> what about your underwear, Trini? How many pieces? You've only given me, you give me five bits of pants, but I might want one. I might like to change my day to night pants. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't think about that. Oh, that could go in a bag. That can go in a bag. The other bag I thought of taking was this one. I think if you would take that one, take that one, the plane, because it's bulky. The Bottega seems like it would travel better. No, the powder is in. Very well done. Easy. The powder is in. The powder is in. Okay, so. Right. <laughs> um, you haven't taken a hat or anything? Oh, or hat. Hat. I can wear it on the plane. <laughs> so we have to really pack this well. Now, if I wanted to take other things because I just wanted to take other things in the evening, chic off whiteness for dinner. Yeah. And dinner with chic. a white t shirt in the yeah. day, traveling around, and yeah. some wide leg white trousers, which I don't have packed. And it fits like a little baby dream. He's got half his suitcase free. Good for returns. And whilst we're here, <laughs> I did like, I did like this white shirt. I really did like it. I don't think you need two white shirts. I, I think, think, I think you're, you're just overpacking because yeah, you've you got are. the room. Should I wear it tomorrow to travel with? But no, you're wearing navy. Navy. no, but I don't need that navy shirt for anything. But that's <laughs> nice to travel in. Look, that's lovely. Isn't that good? So nice. So, now we take the other side. That. Um, have you got an air tag in here? I'm hand luggage, so I don't need an oh. air tag. This is the ultimate capsule wardrobe. <laughs> and we are packed. We're going on holiday. How does that feel? I really didn't think I would do that. I'm so impressed. Look at how much you've had. I know. And look, I didn't, like, all I left behind was that which is like saying, and I wasn't taking any of that, and that's my um, luggage, that's my tomorrow. Your aeroplane outfit, and the bag aeroplane. Smashed yeah. it. I can't wait to see these outfits in action. I can't wait to show you, darling. Thank you for watching. Now, what are we doing next week, Jemima? We've got so many good ideas to Have we? go through. Oh, it's got, I think if you can leave even more good ideas. I did like the idea, because you both love that, so I think of that perfect white dresses. Oh, we really need that, I think. Yeah. And, yeah. Who's, and we can also do as a colour, white to cream. Yeah. The crew in between, and then talk about who suits what and what what you style it with, and just use white dress as a base. Yes, but we would love more ideas too. Perfect. All right, darling. Thanks, Thanks Trini. Bye. Have a lovely trip. Bye.